This is XPGT or GTR Network Setting, Setup Guide. This video is only for the supported firmware version of XPGT and XPGTR. In this step, we will show you how to check your firmware version. There are two ways to check the firmware version. You can check firmware version when you turn on the power supply. A starting up screen will show the version of the firmware. The second way to check the firmware version is by entering to programming mode. Press 4 for maintenance menu and then press 4 for show version. In this step, we are going to check Windows IP configuration. To check your Windows IP configuration, Run command prompt. Type IP config and then press enter. Please remember highlighted settings, it will be used in the network settings later. In this menu, we are going to set up the network connection, to enable communication between your controller and server. To open network settings, enter programming mode by key in your 6 digits master pin. Press 1 for our system menu. Press 7 for network settings. Use up and down arrow to search for network settings. This is local IP address menu. Please enter IP address for your controller. Use the up and down arrow to move to the next byte. Make sure the IP address is unused. Press right to proceed to the next screen. This is local port number menu. We recommend you not to make any changes here. Please leave the default value. Press right to proceed to the next screen. This is remote IP address menu. Please enter your remote server's IP address. Press right to save the changes and proceed to the next screen. This is remote port number menu. We recommend you not to make any changes here. Please leave the default value. Press right to proceed to the next screen. This is subnet mask of your network. Please make sure it is similar to your server's subnet mask. Press right to proceed to the next screen. This is gateway IP for the network. Please make sure it is similar, to your remote server's default gateway. Press right to confirm saving changes. Please note that your changes will only take effect after a reset. There are two ways to reset the controller. You can power reset the controller by turn off and turn on back the power. Or you can perform test watchdog. Follow next step to perform test watchdog. 
to perform test watchdog. Please enter programming mode. Then press 4 for maintenance menu. And press 3 for test watchdog. This screen will be shown to perform test watchdog. Press right to proceed. That's the end of network setting on your controller. In this step, we are going to add connection, in X portal server. Please run your server first. To add connection, go to server admin and then select connection setup. Click the add button to add new connection. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. This is an example to add connection using local area network. For remote IP address, set the controller IP address, that you have set just now, in local IP address menu. Now enter the IP address that you have set just now. Click OK to confirm and save settings. Next we are going to add the controller and door. To open the controller menu, select server admin, system device setup and controller. The controller menu will be shown. Click the add button to add new controller. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. Select the connection that you have created just now. Please select the right model number of your controller. Door menu will be shown if you are using single door controller. Please fill up the highlighted fields only. Controller will automatically selected, if you are using single door controller. Unit number must be set to zero, if you are using single door controller. Set the model number and reader type to default if you are not using Wigan reader. Click OK to confirm and save settings. The newly added controller and door will be showed in device list. Your controller should be up, after completed all this network settings. To determine the controller is up, the PC icon on the main screen is blinking. You can see the transaction in latest all activities list. That's the end of this setup. Now you have completed, all steps for setting up, your network setting, on controller and server. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. At microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook. YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.